let's go ahead and create a doubler. Now I don't necessarily want the doubler to happen across the entire track. I'm more or less just hearing it in certain areas of the track. So let's go ahead and click the B key to create a new process. We're gonna select doubler. Now our lead vocal is gonna be our guide track and our output is already set properly to output three. Now, by default, it's set to selected audio, but if we create a playback range, it will actually snap to selected playback range. So let's go ahead and use the playback range to determine at what point we want our doubler process to occur. To a crowd who needed to see. So I'm thinking that we should probably have it start at the beginning of this sentence. I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit so I have a little bit more space to see. Speaking to a crowd who needed to see she. Okay, and I think it's gonna be over by probably this point. We'll use our scrubber tool. So from, from this point here. So if I take my cursor and I place it there, I can actually right click the playback range marker and set end to playback. That's gonna give me the playback range that I want. Speaking to a crowd who needed to see. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead now and click the end key to create that new doubler process. I'm gonna close this down. Now, if I click the E key, I'll get the lead and the output. Speaking to a crowd who needed to see. Okay, perfect. That's exactly what I want. Now, this time we're going to approach it a different way. I'm going to set my cycle range ahead of time. One day you'll know the meaning of making a choice. She speaks. Okay, so from this point here, I'm going to make this the beginning of my playback range, maybe just before the breath. She's speaking from her heart, but he using her. right to about here, I think. Now I'm gonna click the B key again. And you'll notice that it came up as selected audio. Now, if I would have created the process first, it would have defaulted to selected playback range. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with these settings again. And the preset that I'm gonna apply here is set to vocal moderate. I'm gonna click new process. I'm gonna close that window. Okay, now I wanna show you something really cool. If I open up the parameters of this process, you'll notice that in average delay, we now have the ability to have a negative value. So essentially what this means is that you can have a doubler that can happen a little bit before. So this is automatically set to a two channel output. So on channel one, I'm gonna make my selection something like, not too much, but maybe like a minus 16. And then on channel two, I'm just gonna bring this down a bit here. So now essentially what you've got is a doubler process that has a negative value. So it's actually happening before your guide. So it's given a whole new level of randomness. So that's a great added feature that we have. I'm gonna click the space bar. In her voice. And let's listen to that whole playback range here. She's speaking from her heart, but he using her voice. Perfect. 